शरण शशिधर वंदे वसूना पति वंदे सूर्य शशाकयन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे भक्तजनाश्रय चरद वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय चरद वंदे Vyasamaharshi has composed Brahma Sutras subtly, very clear, highest, blissful Vedanta. He thought that he would not be understood by all the people because of the language, because of the subtle form, however clear it may be. Therefore, he compiled the Upanishads to present his own thought in an elaborate way. Even then, he thought Upanishads may not be understood by everybody. Therefore, he collected the conversation between Krishna and Arjuna in the battlefield, presented in a beautiful form called Bhagavad Gita. Even then, he had a doubt whether the people would understand that. First, Brahma Sutras, two Upanishads, three Bhagavad Gita. All the three put together, we call Prasthana Trayam. The entire Hindu thought is based on these three books, three scriptures, Brahma Sutras. Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita. All the people may not be in a position to understand these three compositions. Therefore, Vyasa wanted to give an illustration, wanted to give an example, wanted to give a story to exemplify, to illustrate, to explain elaborately what is contained in Brahma Sutras, what is contained in Upanishads, and what is present in Bhagavad Gita. And he sat, he thought of his project, the complete story of Mahabharat. He has nearly one lakh slokas in his mind. It would take time for him to write it down. Therefore, he wanted a good typist stenographer. He approached Brahma, Sir, I would like to give an exemplary textbook to explain the thought contained in Brahma Sutras, Upanishads, and the Bhagavad Gita. I want a good typist stenographer. Whom do you suggest? Brahma said, the best person to take down your story is Vigneshwara. Vigneshwara was called. Vyasa told his project. Vigneshwara said, you are a Rishi. I am a God. Ganadhupati. When you dictate, should I take it down? I have a condition. And that condition is, I take down your dictation very fast. By the time you complete your narration, the script would be ready. My hand should not stop. At such great speed, you dictate. And the moment you dictation is over, the script also will be over. Yasa thought, she seems to be a very powerful stenographer. Then he laid the counter condition. My dear Vignesha, thank you very much for accepting me to be my stenographer, but I have a counter condition, and that is without understanding every word, every letter, you should not be down. Very simple. Ishwar's language is so tough, I can understand he thought. The dictation started. Brahma was the witness. 
Vyasa started dictating the entire Mahabharata. Vigneshwar sat at his desk and he was writing. Vyasa wanted a little time to compose the next 10,000 slokas in his brain. Therefore, he wanted a little time, but this man is in a hurry, he is free, his pen should not stop. As and when Vyasa wanted some time to write or to compose some more slokas very awfully, he would dictate a particular sloka whose meaning is very difficult even for the Ganeshwara to understand. One such sloka is Karmanyevadikaraste Vapaleshu Kadachana. Vigneshwara stopped the pen. He was unable to understand immediately. Then he told Vyas Maharshi, Sir, please wait. I shall go to the river, take bath, come fresh, and continue to take double the dictation. It is to indicate that the meaning of Karmanyeva Dikara Steva Palesh Kalajana is tough and difficult even for the Kneshwara to understand. What does it mean? These are called Vyasa Gattas. In Mahabharata, we have more than 500 such slokas. In Bhagavad Gita, we have at least 20 to 25 slokas there. The greatest scholar also fails to interpret properly. One such sloka is Karmanyeva Dikaraste Mahaleshu Kadachana. What does it mean? Meaning is very simple outwardly. You have a right to do your work. You have the duty to do your work. You have the responsibility to do your work. But you have no right to demand the food. You have a responsibility to do your work. But you don't have the privilege. You don't have the duty. You don't ask for the food. It's meaningless. One month you do hard work and the first of every month should you not demand your salary? You have come for the yoga instructor's course camp, uh, camp. 30 days you put in all your practice, you have studied, you have taken the examination. That's all. Your duty is over. You cannot say I have taken the examination, I have written very, very well. Please give me my certificate now. Is it not absurd? Is it right? Traffic rules. I follow the rules, sir. My rules are very carefully observed, sir. Observe traffic rules everywhere. Boards are there. I go on the left, sir. I am very steady, sir. I go only at the rate of 40 kilometers per hour, sir. But, sir, that Lari Wala came and hit me. Is it my mistake? Am I able to avoid the accident? However carefully you may follow the rules and regulations, however carefully you may discharge your duty, fruit may not come. Safety is different fruit. While going on the road, if you observe the traffic rules, you must safely reach your destination. What is the action? Action is observing the rules very carefully. What is the fruit? I am in the accident, I am beaten, I have fallen, my head is broken, my legs are broken, not because of my fault, it is because of the other persons. My duty I have performed, but safety I have been able to get. Young boys, they look at the girl, study the girl, observe the girl, her desires, whatever she wants, he gives. He gives her chocolates, he gives her kerchiefs, he gives, pays her musket, drink ticket, every month a new salary he provides, all her assignments he writes, everything is strictly followed. I love her, sir. 
hundred percent I have a love sir. But she is not in love with me. You see, in your hand, only fifty percent is in your hand. The other fifty percent is in her hand. Every day, when you perform the duty, the result is not governed by my duty alone. There is somebody to judge your duty performance. And that performance may, be perfect, may not be perfect, even if it is perfect, the other fellow is not in favor of it. I have taken the examination very sincerely. I have written down the answers very correctly. The paper is being valued by my teacher. While valuing my script, he had a quarrel with his wife. And she brought the cup of coffee. He was angry with his wife. He did not take the coffee. He threw the coffee on her face and here in the right hand your paper is there. He put all wrong specific marks and you got five marks. Is it my fault, sir? Teachers, your duty ends with the performance. The other part is in his hand. Everywhere, action, kriya, karma has two sides, the doer and the valuer. Assessment is done by somebody else. I give a small example. Some time ago, about 50 years, there was an advertisement by the TVS company. The company said, we are producing TVS mopeds and it gives you 80 kilometers per one liter of petrol. The TVS 50 moped, what is the result, what is the fruit, it gives you 80 kilometers per one liter of petrol. I bought it. In those days it was only 5,000 rupees or 6,000. I bought it. I used it and I saw that it is not giving 80 kilometers per liter. I went to the consumer court. The advertisement says that the TVS moment will give 80 kilometers per one liter of petrol. I have bought it, I have used it, I have studied it. It is not giving 80 kilometers. It gives only 50 to 60 kilometers. I went to a lawyer, filed my petition. I was invited to the consumer court. The other person from TBS company also is invited. The managing director or somebody, the engineer, came to the court and he answered, Sir, even now I can prove that TBS 50 can give 80 kilometers per one liter of petrol. The judge, myself, my lawyer were invited to Hosu, where the manufacturing unit was present. We all went. He brought the brand new TDS 50. There was a pillar post. He fixed the TDS 50 on the pillar. He brought one liter of petrol, fresh, pure, are not adulterated. That petrol he put into the petrol tank with a little oil which we do use and then heavy grease to the front wheel, heavy grease to the back wheel. He stopped the two wheeler. The wheel was going round, 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 round. 81 kilometers in here. Then I told him, Sir, your new TVS 50 can give, but my TVS 50 is not giving. I was asked to bring the TVS 50. I took it. He cleansed it completely, washed it fully, and he poured one liter of petrol as usual, grease to the front wheel, grease to the back wheel. He stopped it. This also gave me 80 kilometers. Then I said, if you want to come and sit, I shall show this is not giving. Then the engineer said, we have proved that it is giving 80 kilometers under ideal conditions that we have forgotten. 
you are going on the road, road is full of speed breakers, ups and downs. Here it is on the post, no friction, no ups and downs. And there is heavy grease, you have not upgraded grease. And then you are 120 kilos sitting on the two wheeler. Two -wheel. Your wife is 240 kilos sitting behind you. And you are carrying vegetables worth about 70 to 80 kilo, kilos. Without grease, with impure petrol, heavy man, heavy woman, and heavy luggage, speed breakers, red signals, dirty roads, how can it be designed? Similarly, every action, I have done my best. Every action of ours is governed by various factors. This government of Adhikara State has two sides. Number one, while doing the duty, don't be diverted. An excellent doctor, surgeon, he knows this subject very, very well. A patient came, the abdomen is to be opened. Some repair is to be made inside. He was very cautious, very careful. If this operation is completed, he would get, get one lakh of rupees as a food, as a benefit. While doing the operation, while cutting the abdomen, while doing the repair work, his mind was thinking one lakh of rupees he will get. And that one lakh, shall I buy a necklace to my wife or shall I buy a house or a plot? Where shall I keep the one lakh? If I show it in the income tax, they may demand more money as tax. His mind is engrossed, thinking of the fruit. Action is on the hand. Operation he has to conduct. While doing the duty, don't dream of the fruit. If you dream of the fruit, your action cannot be done precisely, cautiously, carefully, successfully. And when he is dreaming, he forgot the scissors inside the tiger, the abdomen. The patient died. I was a director of the IAS Academy for some time. In Hyderabad, I was lecturing to get him coaching some boys and girls. One day I told them how to face the prelims, how to face the mains, how to face the interview to be a successful IAS officer. One student asked me, is there any good book, sir? Yes. How to become IAS? Is that book available written by an IAS officer? Where is that available, sir? He said. It is in such and such a shop you can buy it. Sir, I don't have money, I don't have time, I cannot buy it. Is it available in our library? Yes, very much available. Can you show it to me, sir? Yes, I shall show you. I took the boy to the library. It was about 5 o'clock in the evening. I picked up that book, gave it to him, and the boy was seated in near the desk. He started to read that book, first page, introduction. My boy, you have got the right book at the right time for your preparation. If you follow this book, the guidelines given in this book, you are sure to become an IAS officer. There are two parts. If you follow the book, you will become the IAS officer. Effort, fruit. Effort is to follow the book. Fruit is to become an IAS officer. We stop there. Very good book. I have got the excellent book. I will master this book. I shall appear for the you. IAS interview in Delhi, UPSC people will look at me, they will be surprised to see my wonderful personality and my knowledge, my wisdom and the chairman would at the end of the interview say, my dear young boy, for the first time I have seen a very smart student, I shall recommend your name to the government of India, not for IAS, but for IFS Indian Foreign Service. After this, you will have a little training in Musori, and then you will be posted as 
the representative of India, the ambassador of India in London. I go to London, I will be given a beautiful apartment, I shall be seated in my office, then from Banir Gatta, my mother's brother, my maternal uncle will come to London in his dhoti, he will stand in front of me, my dear nephew, my dear nephew, I never thought that you would become an IAFS officer. When you were a small child, I thought to go off you. In those days, I neglected you. Now that you are an IAFS officer, I shall propose the marriage of yours with my daughter, the beautiful she is. My entire property will be given to you. Then I will look at him and tell him, you, my uncle, that day when I wrote a love letter to your daughter, you got angry with me, you scolded me, you driven me away. Get out, I will tell him. The book in his hand, he threw it. He dreamt while studying the book. The book is not completed. He stopped there. If you follow the traffic rules, if you observe the ideal conditions, if you read the book and follow the rules, you are get under ideal conditions. What naturally people do, the moment we go to Venkateshwara temple, instead of praying, we remember our desire. You observe. You go to the temple, the deity is your friend, instead of praying to him, God, first class. First class, first class. When did I say I don't say? We think of the fruit more, think of the effort less. Concentration in the effort is more important than thinking of the fruit. Then we may ask, should there not be a proposal? Sankal by the beginning only. The moment you took the textbook for the preparation, it means you wanted the fruit, Sankalpa. That's why every time you go to the temple, the desire is proclaimed in the beginning, not while during the war, not while performing the prayer. Our prayers are adulterated by the desires. They are tarnished by ego. They are spoiled by selfishness. Throughout the prayer, Dalita Sahasrama, I will be reciting and I will be remembering my desire, the fruit, fruit, fruit. And the concentration when I pray, doing the prayer is lost. Therefore, Vyasa says, with two purposes, number one is, while doing the work, while preparing for the examination, while driving the vehicle, don't think of the fruit. If you think of the fruit, your mind is diverted, concentration fails, and you cannot do the work. Karmanya Vatikara say, while doing the work, I am now speaking. If I am to think of my wife, my speech fails. My thoughts do not come out properly. Concentration is essential by performing the duty. This is one way. The second meaning is, even if you do it perfectly, there are many factors governing. Even after getting the fruit, you are likely to lose. Ravana's mother was Kaiti, Kaitesi, Kaitesi. Ravana's wife is Mandodai. One day both the ladies went to Ravana. My dear Ravana, you are a devotee of Lord Shiva. Yes. Go to him. Yes. Ask him to give you the grace, Shivalinga, Atmalinga. Very sincerely, with all Shraddha, Ravana started his journey from Lanka to Mount Kailas. How do you go, Mother asked. I have a two-wheeler, I will drive, I will go straight. Be careful, observe traffic rules, observe the rules of devotion, that they proceed. He went, did not look this side, that side. Concentrated effort, he put in. Tapasya, he performed. Shiva, he What do you want? My mother wanted rice. My wife wanted grapes. Basam, the rice. How many kilos? As many kilos as you can. Did you bring any bag? Yes, I brought. Shiva gave. Bag full of rice. Bag full of grapes. How do you take it back? 
I will drive my vehicle. Both the bags he put, and he was driving back from Mount Kailas to Lanka. While going in the tall concentration he went, while returning, he came to Kashmir. Kashmir was full of roses and rosy cheeked girls. He was looking at them, he was enamored of them, he was fascinated by them. He stopped the naked, went to a woman, praised with her, proposed to her, and he slept with her. If a girl he agreed with her, to, if she did not agree, he forced her. While returning, slowly, enjoying, he reached Lanka after three months. Mother asked, did you bring grace and rice? Yes. Wife asked, did you bring grace and rice? Yes. Show me. He went to the scooter. The bags were empty. The fruit was lost. Why? At the bottom of the bag, there is a hole called Kama. While concentrating, don't be disturbed by Kama. Kama is desire. While talking to the God, don't be disturbed by Kama. Kama is desire. While getting the fruit, don't be disturbed by Kama. Kama is desire. Desire accompanies our efforts. Vishwamitra fell so many times. Great Tapasins were unable to make that concentration. Therefore, Vyasa says, Karmanyeva Adhikar say, leave the food to him. Humble, modest, devoted, with all concentration, perform the duty. The giver has his own limitations. Panchabhutas have to cooperate, the opponents have to cooperate, co-passengers have to cooperate, students have to cooperate. For every effort, everybody has to come and cooperate for the fruit to be successfully awarded to us. Two points try to please remember. One, by doing the duty, let there be no desire, let there be no diversion. The fruit is governed by various factors, not only by your performance of the duty. Even after the fulfillment of desire, you have to be very cautious to protect the fruit of your action. Therefore, at every level, divine grace, divine grace, divine grace is needed. From my side, desire is to be stored. There are several dimensions to this particular thought. Adi Shankara gives a long commentary on this particular sloka, Karmanyevati Karaste Mahamaneshu Kadajana. If only we are to follow that, our lives will be peaceful, our lives will be joyful. Let us now meditate on that great Yogeshwar Sri Krishna, who is the best person to illustrate this particular thought, Karmanyavadi Karaste Maha Paleshu Kadaasa.